Carino's has been in La Jolla over 15 years and only recently opened this Scripps Ranch satellite. The atmosphere here is pretty much what you'd expect from a shopping center pizzeria, hanging plants and a neat woodsy interior with murals of some faraway land on the wall. It's definitely not Southern California, no billboards or parking meters. We ordered the antipasto salad for starters and received one of the prettiest creations I've seen. Lots of cheese, salami, and artichoke hearts, and it even tasted good. Mrs. Eater likes her salad with anchovies. They were thankfully served on a separate plate and placed downwind. As we waited for our pizza, we found that the quality control at the new Carinos can reach some pretty extreme lengths, to the point of throwing less than perfect pizzas away. Well, once in a while something will go along with it, wrong with it or it'll get overcooked or they'll put the wrong thing on it. And we usually don't try to throw them away, we try to give them to somebody. We don't like to waste it. This was a pretty good night for Carinos. On the previous evening, they threw three imperfect pizzas out, all apart, they say, of starting a new restaurant. Well, as it turned out, there was a slip up in our order, and it took an extra half hour to clear up. Our ever-attentive waiter gave us frequent updates on the pizza's progress, and even gave us a free pizza at the end of the evening as an apology. When our ordered pizza arrived, we found it had a thin, crisp crust, light in the sauce, and heavy in the cheese, to the point where Eater Jr. said it had too much cheese, although I personally believe in the old adage that you can't be too rich or have too much cheese on your pizza. A pizza with three toppings is a reasonable 10 bucks, and I found the result very good overall. Whatever the new Carinos lacks in content, they try to make up with enthusiasm. So if your pizza takes a little too long to get ready, console yourself with the thought that they're probably just throwing your first dinner away. For News 8, I'm the Unknown Eater.